Hey y'all, happy hey, Sunday. Don't judge me, judge yourself because I had to throw Mommy my chips. sweater from the other day back on. But I literally only had it on for two seconds to go look at those properties. And yeah, so the girls had to get the tryouts and I, this was the only thing I saw and we literally walked out the door at 10.14. Charles are at 10.15, but we got here. She does. Um, Jory is done with her tryout. The coach just walked her out here because Journey and Jai got practice right after. And she's like, oh, do you want them to stay? Um, I did want to talk to them about their tryout, but I was like, yeah, I guess they can stay in there. But, um, how was your tryout, Jory? Good. It was good. Coach Brittany walked you out here. <laughs> and what'd she say? How'd she say you did? Who got one <sighs> Jory is always going, like, her attention span. She'd be like, yeah, you're here talking about who's that running? Girl, Jory, how was your tryout? Good. What did you do, Angel? She was like, those tryouts, she was like, those ending poses were everything. I gave all the girls an ending pose because I was like, we got to get some extra points here. We need to be performing. I'm working on the girls with performance because I noticed one thing about the girls. Like, they know the material. Journey, at the last competition, she looked, she was doing the whole entire thing, but she looked like a deer in hair lights. And y'all know I come from cheerleading world. So I'm like, no, ma'am. And both of them want to be flyers. I'm like, there's no way I would select y'all as coaches to, to be flyers. And y'all cannot perform the routine. Flyers are the ones where your eyes are going to be drawn to them. They're in the air, flying, doing all these different positions. How are you going to like a deer in hair lights? So I was like, yeah, no. We're going to be working on that. So we've been working on... Um, girl, what are you doing? So we've been working on that these last few weeks. Um... Um, yeah, so I'm glad that hopefully it paid off, but she was like, yeah, those ending poses were everything. <laughs> Jory kept doing this little <laughs> sumo ride type of motion. Like, I put it on my Instagram story. Like, every time she did it, she kept doing this sumo ride thing. And I was like, girl, it's attitude diva. Snap the fingers. Something. Blow kiss. With a girl. Journey and Jai was supposed to blow kiss. Journey, Jory was supposed to snap her finger. But initially, I thought they were all going to try out together, like, in the same group. They tried out in the same group, but everyone had to do everything one by one. So, I, like, had both of Journey and Jai on the outside blowing kiss to the opposite sides and then Jory was going to be in the middle snap her finger but then I found out because one of the other cheer moms told me yesterday she's like yeah no they all try one by one so either way it goes they still had their thing so I'm just nervous I'm not really worried I hope they performed it but more importantly like I really hope they stuck their tumbling because we have been working really hard for their tumbling passes so we'll find out like I said before um the girls are really young they started cheer at three um uh, most people start cheer at four so if they end up on tiny novice again it's not the end of the world they did start really young so it'll just be them three years on tiny novice we know for a fact if jory makes it she'll definitely be on tiny novice she'll be the probably the youngest girl there um because she th she's three and she'll turn four no, in july I'm four. girl you're three i'm three yes how old are you jory i'm four you're four i'm three <laughs> So yeah, so they're gonna have two tiny teams next year, but a lot of the girls who've had experience on tiny and are like six and seven, most likely those are gonna be the girls on tiny elite. But we've been practicing those skills, so if the girls nailed it, you never know. You saw only two judges? Uh uh. How many judges you saw? Um nothing. Like four judges? It was like Coach Sarde, Coach K, Coach Brittany. Coach Brittany's the tiny coach, but Coach Sarde is the head coach. Coach Brittany. Mm-hmm. The one who brought you out here is Coach Brittany. And I, I put the girls on some blush, some little lippy. I was like, we gon' we gotta come out because y'all can't have no mama who had a cheer background and y'all not. But like I said, it's just whatever, whatever they're supposed to be on, they're gonna be on. And if they're on tiny novice, the way I look at it is they're gonna be the top. Like they had the most experience, so they should be killing it and you know holding down the whole team. Three of my girls on one team, like really? <laughs> hey guys, good morning. So I'm literally leaving from a meeting on the way to another meeting. Um, I love this little life for me. <sighs> okay, got my car. I mean, my car, my purse. And I was onboarding some new buyers. I'm super grateful. My best friend, her um, other, one of her best friends, um, and her husband were looking for a house and they went through the process the first time by themselves um and let's just say i'm now hired as the agent and i'm just super hot i feel like my music is about to be so loud what time is it oh 10 40. oh y'all prayfully i'm not late to my meeting chanel was like 
do not be I don't feel like I'd be late. I just be a little okay. Who's this? This is okay. See you soon. Oh, it's at 11 30. Oh wow. This got look at God. I thought it was at 11. Wow, look at there. Okay, 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 okay. So okay, Chanel has us doing a meeting. Yo, look at God. I literally thought it was at I don't even know oh i don't think i have any service out here so i don't know where i'm pretty sure i'm but i have to edit something on my story yeah i don't have no service in here i have to edit something on my story anyways so i will edit that while i wait in a car so i should have like 10 15 minutes to spare but yeah so i um I meant to vlog on the way here, but I ended up talking on the phone with Ariel. Her, be her birthday was yesterday, so happy birthday to my bestie. Her 30th. Exit to room, exit to I'm trying to figure out how do I get out. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I should have been vlogging because I was in here hollering. I could not figure out for the life of me where to par park, and then the elevators were out. So I'm over here like, I have to find the parking that goes to the outside. Is this it? No, this is to come in here. So where the free, oh shoot, and I'm going the wrong way. Hey y'all. So I'm on my way to the gym and this is my new workout thing. I thought I was gonna be on the third um, notch, but I'm actually on the second. Well, I could go definitely go to the third notch, but this is y'all see these gains. Someone told me when I had posted something on my story last night, um, they were like, Oh my gosh, it looks like you're gaining weights. I'm like, Yes, I have not been to the gym or Pilates in weeks. Um, so let's make our way. I just got my purse. Let me get my coat. Uh, your girl has been on the move all day. I got another clear to close. So I have two closings on Thursday. And by the time y'all are seeing this, I probably have already closed. So congrats are in order. And yeah, just preparing, preparing with the world, preparing for future business. So uh, we also have something really exciting, a big brand deal that I got and it's for tomorrow so we'll wait to announce what that is thank you George give me a kiss go ahead because I gotta get your hair washed she said the uniforms so you pay everything up front with the uniforms yeah they finance it she said they find they finance it by journey with the uniform. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love you. Yeah. Why you got hot water? Uh huh. Girl. These little ones. Actually He's going fishing. Yes. That is our food. That's our food. Mama, we don't have to bring it back. What you mean, baby? Like, we don't have to break. Don't mind. Baby, I'm going to just hand, hold it. Come on. Tell them where you're going. We We're going going to Kennedy party. Mommy, how many minutes are there? Love for the fishing. How many? How many? Uh, it was far away. Daddy didn't lock the door. Mommy, are we far away? How yeah, many Jaya. minutes? How many minutes, though? Oh, Jory, I gotta wipe the back of your neck, Angel. How many minutes? Baby, I don't know how many minutes exactly. I gotta put in my GPS. Come here, Jojo. I gotta wipe the back of your neck. I got some tissue right here. I didn't say get, no, not this tissue, this Kleenex. These are some thicker. Yeah. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I don't even know the last time I vlogged, to be honest. Um, your girl has been extremely worked. If I do say so myself, hold on, why is this doing that? I don't even know what this is about. 
Y'all, I'm still trying. Like, hold on, let me make sure. It's making me nervous. Hold on, let me make sure my settings are right. Okay, guys, I'm back. I think everything was good. I had to put on this hat. I have not changed my wig. I had three closings. Oh, y'all, it's a little blurry. It's a little blurry. I had, oh, there we go. There we go. So I had three closings scheduled for um, last week, and all of them were postponed to this week. Um, it was definitely a challenge. If I only could give y'all the behind the scenes of what realtors have to go through throughout these transactions like a lot of people think it's just house showing doing a little paperwork and then you close and get a check no 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 that's far from that so very far from that but i love it i love it so freaking much um anyways i am going to go get in the car tomorrow actually it'll probably be a part of this vlog after i dropped the road off to, the, to school i'm going to come home get bathed and then we're gonna go look at new cars um i asked you guys on my instagram to send me some options and then i also talked it over with some of my some of the cheer moms and got their opinions um i think it's mostly gonna come down to gas to be honest like i do want another luxury vehicle oh that's my address in here i do want another luxury vehicle I saw these Lexuses that were being highly recommended. So I'm gonna do a lot of research tonight when I get back from the party. Um, and if it's not good on gas, then I'm not gonna get it. Because ultimately, <laughs> I need a vehicle that will be real estate friendly. And with all the traveling and all that, like I really need something that's gonna be real estate friendly. So one of the moms, she really, 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 really wanted me to get, um, a Land Rover. She's like, that was her favorite car she ever had, but it was the same thing as um, the Q8 when it comes to gas. Um, let me get the address. And it's crazy where we're going. I closed the house over here and like two, two houses down. So one of my closings is neighbors to one of their school friends. That's crazy. Y'all, we at the birthday party in Jaya. This girl is such a diva. But ironically enough, the father recognized me from Douglas High School. He went to Douglas, he was in my sister's class. It's so crazy how life works, y'all. Full circle. Journey is eating off of my freaking bones. You like girl. You see her? There she is, this Kennedy. Journey is eating off my bones. She's saying that I didn't eat it enough. So look at her. Look at her, y'all. This girl know how to eat. My kids just know how to freaking eat. Yeah, we good. You gotta eat the big one. Wait, let Jory eat it first. Uh. Jory, Jory, let other people eat their food first. Okay, she's not gonna eat no more. Journey, don't reach in nobody else's plate. That's rude. You don't want nobody to reach in your plate. Why do you have bones over here? Jaya. Don't I knock my bones? Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday and we are on the way car shopping. We literally are leaving, looking at a house. Um, wait, is this? Am I, hold on y'all. If I don't get in a car with 360 cameras, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do, honey, because Oh, your girl cannot hold on y'all so anyways like I said we're li leaving looking at a house um we still have not gotten an update from the builder um from the last vlog when I told you guys initially we thought we were good to go and we were going to be under contract for at home um, but we are not going back and forth about these finishes. So in the meantime, while we're waiting to get that update, we are still looking at other options. If we see anything come up on the market that's fairly considerable, then we'll just go look at it and take a tour. Um, but we're not like, preferably we want to do our first option. So I knew this house was definitely going to be a no. Like the houses in this neighborhood are super cluttered, like super cluttered we don't even like the circumstances right now although we love our neighbors 
like living next door to a police officer and then the other um our other neighbor very quiet older lady stays herself like we don't have any issues with our neighbors but when we move to our next pro um, property we definitely want a lot more privacy and we are big big on the land um I'm not saying that we have to have a ginormous amount. Babe definitely will want a ginormous amount. But I'm talking about like the grass and how well that has been maintained and kept over the duration of the homeowner's stay. Because when we bought our home, we bought it in the winter time. And we saw the land was like, eh, especially next door. The older lady, oh, she invested thousands of dollars into her landscaping and it looks impeccable so living next door to her already it's like night and day <laughs> like i'm not even gonna lie it's like night and day and we have definitely put in some money to um getting it a lot better than what it was from the last homeowners but whoever buys the home next is definitely gonna have to just finish it out because we ain't doing nothing else it's, it's over with but um so wherever we move to we don't want to have to have any land issues and we definitely want yard so like i said in this neighborhood all the houses are literally right next to each other and i i was telling like from looking at all the houses um that nobody had backyards and i was hoping like maybe when we get to the house we want to go view it has a little backyard and nope it did not so we didn't even go in the house we didn't even go in the house i looked i wish i would have showed y'all actually but it's too late i'm not driving back over there but we literally got out the car i saw how it was uh how it was situated on the hill and when i looked at that backyard it was no backyard literally nothing it just a little grass back there so that was just not gonna work for us so we didn't even go inside the house because we was like we're not settling so it's no point to even look at the house um yeah so now babe went back home because he drove in his car he said he has work to do today so he was gonna go car shopping with me but now he's leaving it up to me which actually kind of is better because i know babe will try to be in my ear about whatever car i do move forward with and i don't need him on my ear i just need to be able to make this decision because i told you guys we need a third row but we also need a car that is good on gas both of our cars are terrible on gas he spends hundreds of dollars on his BMW and I spend hundreds of dollars with my Q8. Um, so I am 100% certain that I don't want another gas that I got another car that I have to spend hundreds of dollars monthly in gas or that's bad on gas. I remember when I had my Toyotas, I could go a whole week driving to school, running errands, whatever. And I wouldn't even need to put no gas in my car. Let me try to do that with this Q8. No ma'am, no sir. I'm putting gas in this car every two days. And it's definitely like $50, $60 every two days. Um, I'm a real estate agent now, so it's just not practical. I'm a mom of growing kids who are in extracurricular activities, who have friends, and you know, it's just not practical for a family to have this as like the family car. So like I said, I don't know if I broke it down with the whole car situation. So what we've decided to do was upgrade my car to be our family car. Or like if one of us has to go like a further distance, then we would take, oh shoot, what are we up? Y'all, what? They were racing each other, what's going on? Oh, it must be like a family emergency. So let me just calm down. Cause every time I see people driving crazy, you think the worst because you like, they driving like nobody else is on the road, which these people are literally driving like that. But when I was in labor, babe told me he was driving like 100 miles per hour when he got that call to say, I'm in labor and you're about to miss this delivery of our twins. And he said he literally was hiking it like 100 miles per hour. He did not stop like at all. But yeah, so we're gonna upgrade my car to a family car. And we're gonna, Jeremy's, he just got his car. I don't remember when, but sometime last year he got his car. So I told him once he gets his year mark with his car or like six months after we close on our home, then we'll update or upgrade his car to a car that we both can agree on, like that we really love, like as far as like a luxury premium car. And then that would be like our, you know, we going out and we just doing something with our friends or doing, you know, just not the car that we drive in every single day, especially not, not me. But anyway, 
yeah so now we're on the way well i'm on the way to lexus i know y'all like girl you just talked about luxury now you can talk about lexus so lexus was one of the most recommended cars and it came down to my research <laughs> someone had sent me like a whole bunch of mercedes options for like a third row and i really loved it but when i looked into it it was bad on gas as well so i was like oh unfortunately like i shouldn't do that because i'm gonna be back in the same situation lexus i have not been able to figure out if they were good or bad on gas yet so that's why i'm gonna go test drive and it was two different lexus models that i did end up liking and i like the features i've never driven a lexus or anything i don't know nothing about lexuses so this will be interesting i don't think i'm gonna do tesla because i was going to go and test drive a tesla but i just feel like after the research that i did do it's not practical because it says the third row is not comfortable it's really really small and it's pretty much for kids uh, although i do have kids um i just they also have car seats and i just want it to be functional like i don't want to be struggling with the car seats or struggling you know all of that like i just want it to make sense overall but then i was like you know what i love the fact that tesla's you don't have to put the gas in that started to like win me over and i was like freaky i'm just gonna move forward with the tesla um but then i was like wait a minute aren't there other cars that are also electric so i started looking up and going down a deep rabbit hole last night y'all about other cars that are electric and i'm super excited so there were two that came up that i love the des design and features one of them was a toyota 6 vx but i thought it was a third row and i think it's not a third row but then i looked up like what is the number one third row luxury car in the world um that's electric and the number one came up to be kia um but then there was another a lot of you guys did recommend the kia tele something something with a t um and that one is also really good and you can get the premium features so i whatever car i get that's that can be upgraded to the highest 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 i want all the features then that's exactly what i'll be doing so as soon as babe, I started talking about Kia, was like, what? Go get the Tesla. I'm like, I'm not worried about no name brand, honey. I'm worried about this gas. Oh, and I said, and you the main one who told me to go get a Toyota. When I first said, I'm going to give up the car. He was like, okay, I'll get a Toyota. I don't care. I'll drive it. And now look at him. As soon as this is becoming a reality, changing his thing. Hey, okay, guys. We're at our first stop. Lexus. And I'm liking the exterior looks. Um... Remember, I have the QA, so this is what we're working with now, y'all, and how it looks. Y'all, I literally damaged my car, I think, within the first month of me even getting it. Um, the features of a QA are impeccable, so I am not looking to downgrade in that aspect. So hopefully they can assist me. And I think I'm gonna actually just stick with looking at the lexus and then go to the kia place and whoever gives me the best deal and all of that but we're gonna come in and we're gonna see y'all do everything with me y'all are so spoiled i'm about to start calling y'all my spoiled babies instead of my keys i'm gonna say hey spoiled babies because i be letting y'all know stuff before anybody else okay guys so they're about to appraise my vehicle um but so far it's not looking too good because which i should have already known but she said they take premium gas so mm, about that but i don't know if there's a difference within like the tank size of like how good to get like how much it holds per mileage and all that because i feel like i think mine is 300 miles I can fill my tank up for 300 miles, which I'm pretty sure it should, should be the standard. Um, but I love the way these cars and SUVs and stuff look. Like, they look really, really nice. So, I don't know. I said I'm just going to test drive it just to have an option. Um, because more than anything, this is, like, I'm expecting to get more booked and more busy with real estate so i'm gonna be driving a lot you audi audi really yes wow but they those other cars cost more yeah new yeah than we do but if you buy a car used our car is higher used than a new car than, really? than their 
used cars. Yeah. Really? And it has like comparable features and all of that. Let me let you see that. Okay. Yeah, I've been an Audi girl since 2017. And I'm like, I have three kids. So I'm like, I need to upgrade to three row. I'm a real estate agent. So I travel way more now okay. um, with driving. Um, let me get the key to this. Uh, well, I'm gonna put your information in there. Okay. This is the key yet. Okay. I was about to say, that's not too big. Okay, so this is not too bad. Okay. Is this the only color available? Yeah, well, that's a premium. Okay, that's a premium. Okay. You want, you want the, this, this one right here, you get a lot of the features on it. And it okay. doesn't cost a, well, it's only 62, Okay. 63. Like I said, but this one you get. And I get you, it's a seven seater. Okay. You oh, get yeah. your panel roof. Okay. You have the screen. Oh, I love that screen. Oh, this screen. Uh -huh. The screens that goes oh, up in the back. The kids gonna be playing with that. Oh, it's huge. Wait, where's my car at? Oh, y'all took it. <laughs> Your car's right here. They had the it's not that much. It's not huge. That what wagon here. Where you find it at? Okay, so. Here we are, y'all. I hate the color, though. I hate the color. And this one right here is powered seats. Uh huh. Are you able to wrap this car? Yeah, you can wrap. No, we can't. Okay. But you can get it wrapped. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's automatic. Oh, this is so yeah. much more convenient. Power seats. And now in the front. Up here, they got a button to where if the people sit in the room, uh -huh. these seats recline. Really? Yeah. Okay. I like it. And so that is right here. Now these, how you pull these up? Damn. Okay. Oh wow! Yeah, that's real easy. I like it. You got your big roof. I, I love it. Like, it literally looks really nice. You want to test your eyes? Yes. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's get in this car, y'all. Let's see. It has your memory seats and it parks itself. Oh, really? Yes. This screen is really nice. It's tiny. Yes. So, I'm going to get you to the closest I can. Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> get you yes. up. Yes. Tell me when to all the way, all the way yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Okay, you got you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> oh y'all. Let's see what we about to be doing, honey, because I'm nervous. I want a baby to be here so he can vlog me, but I'm about to put my hands on this wheel, y'all. So I'm gonna be back. Alrighty. Okay. You have your wireless charger. Okay. So we just sit it right here. Mm -hmm. But does the case have to be off? No. Oh, okay. Because it goes through my case. Oh, my Audi. Um, I have it, but the case it has to be off and be inconvenienced to me. I like this. So give it time. Let me sit and make sure we get it on there. And it's, it's gonna start charging. You got your heated and your cool seats. Your heated steering wheel. Uh -huh. This is all touch screen. Okay, this is your radio source. Radio. Oh wow, this is a really. Okay, we're gonna turn it up. And this is brand new 2024? This is a 2024. Oh, wow. Okay. I love that. Mm -hmm. and just kick. Are you just kick right here? What? Oh, and it closes it back. Uh -huh. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, I always got stuff in my hands. I have to put on the floor. <laughs> that is really nice. Well, Y'all, this was a smooth drive now. It was smooth. I didn't even feel like I was driving a big bag. And see, they're sitting in the third row. Uh huh. This is right here. We'll recline. Okay. You see them? Mm -hmm. That is really nice. Mm -hmm. So they can relax in the back also. I like this. You like it? I like it. I love it. Really nice. Go ahead and get your purse. Oh, yeah. Let's get the purse. <laughs> Before I make this. And they got all the, the charging stations. Uh huh. They got two here. They got. Two back here. Okay. And then you got two up in the front. Okay. Actually four in the front. And then you got the wireless charger. Okay. Hey guys. So I am at what kind of car is this? 
I don't even know. I don't know. Um, they didn't have another color, color option with their Lexus, which, like I said, I could wrap it, but I honestly do not want that silver color. Sorry, y'all. I had to drink this water. But um, I'm at Kia. Audi is right next door. Um, and I am about to go inside here and look at these two cars I wanted to look in. Honestly, if it looks comfortable to the Lexus, I most likely will move forward with the Kia. Honestly, but why do you say honestly? Because truthfully, this pretty much synonym. Y'all, just bear with me. My client called me in the middle of why I was um, at the Lexus dealership and I've been negotiating and stuff and then what's the I'm so sorry to bug you. Are you Keisha? Yeah, I am. Oh my God, I saw, I've been watching you like eight years ago. When I was oh, really? When you was in your, was like a Honda Civic. Yes, oh thank God. you so much. <laughs> nice seeing you, thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, y'all, we in here. See, I feel like that car may be, put a trash can in it, y'all. And then I guess we can go test drive after. Now, when you look at it, this one is a little bit smaller. This is called a Sorrento. My name is Vince, by the way. I'm Keisha. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. All right, so this is a Sorrento. Uh huh. And that's the uh, Telluride. This is a four cylinder. That's a six cylinder. That's the difference. So, what's the cylinder mean? It means it gets more power. Oh, that has a nice little screen thing. Uh -huh. Oh, that's not too bad. And right this, now, I'm going to get you away because I got a customer coming. Okay. So I'm going to sit you down with someone else. Okay. All right? All right? Okay, that's fine. 28 for the electric car? Yeah. What's the EV9 that I saw online? This is, well, I don't know which one you saw, but what I'm saying is that, so the base model one's going, you're going to lose a lot of feet. This is going to be more of a higher end one. Okay. So with the base model, you're probably going to be looking at once it's been, are you recording it? Yeah, I'm on YouTube. Okay, don't don't worry about it, y'all. They got a plug for what else is it? What's this? Let me not be doing nothing that I don't got no business doing. I can open this. He don't want to talk, y'all. I don't know what this does, but we're gonna find out once he want to talk again. But we got second row, and I guess this. Oh, this um lowers the seat heck. This is literally same as Lexus. Now I don't think Lexus had this right here. But that's, that's uh, this. I wanted a different color. Let's see what this feel like. I ain't gonna vlog you, so you don't worry. Okay. I'm gonna let you drive it though. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I like this. Okay. Oh, no, I gotta go get some Go ahead and go get gas so I can. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're nice. Okay. This is uh, the best bang for the dollar. Uh huh. We're looking at some with three rows of seats. Nicely equipped. But like I say, you got the best warranty. It's a 10 year, 100,000 miles for that power train. 60,000 60, miles. Five years for the basic warranty. So you got the best warranty. Uh huh. You get, um, like I said, incredibly safe, well built vehicle. You mm -hmm. get something that's. Uh, like I say, user friendly. Oh, not them gotten this little adapter. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah, that's for the that's for the uh, char. Uh, the uh, yeah, the new updated char. I kept saying like, um, why Apple keep changing these cords because they don't um go to the car no more. Well, I still got the USB port, mm -hmm. but they mostly have this now. Yep. But it's because I got a 2019, so when they changed it, most cars changed too. So. Exactly. Well, see, this is for your charger, this is for USB port, and this right here is for your uh, charging of your phone. And does it charge immediately, like? Oh, it's just so, so, let me just see here. Okay, it started charging, even through the case. Oh my gosh, y'all, this car is freaking scorching hot. Jesus Christ. Okay, so, one thing I've noticed so far is that Kia makes so many different trims, which I'm learning right now what trims this and trims that are. And I may not drive off with the vehicle today, to be honest, because I need to do a little bit more research. Um, we're test driving like different versions of trim, and I just want to get what I want. And my best friend is 
um she works at a car dealership so she also told me not to i'm like girl i need to get the car today she's like no don't get the car today so um yeah i may not get the car she's texting me and she's been calling me everything that he says she's been helping me negotiate i learned some things about negotiating interest rates price and all that other stuff on my own but she's telling me like she's teaching me how to negotiate like the dealer fees and some other stuff that she got me talking to them about i love the screen in the kia like i love it i love the one in, it, in lexus as well okay so we got the plug for me to plug a flat iron mm -hmm. or a computer Oh yeah. Well, this is also got some good designs in it. Where one, you can uh, you can actually um, charge your house. Oh. Okay. 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 And if, if, like at your house, you'll just have to get a uh, get the charging station built in. If we How much is that gonna cost? It's gonna be expensive. I'll like a thousand or fifteen thousand. The, really? The, the one, that, the one that we are. Oh lordy! I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that you can't get something best out there. Uh huh. You always get a qualified electrician. Yeah. You know what they're doing with these here things? Oh, that's a big investment. Can you finance it? It can be financed. Jesus but, but Christ! Let me say it again. Uh huh. Make sure you get a qualified electrician. Yeah. Hey y'all. So car shopping actually took much longer than i anticipated so i'm gonna just stop this right here from part one if you have any feedback from the cars the last vehicle that's literally on the screen right now is the electric car so i really liked it um the salesperson was real ocd about the camera so it was kind of hard to pull the camera out and still get him to like explain certain stuff but whatever um i really did like it but Jeremy, once I told him I really liked it, Jeremy felt like he wanted to do research and um, give some input about this final decision since I'm literally getting like a little in over my head, getting um, a vehicle that I've never been a part of the family. I've been in an Audi family for the last however many years, so... He kind of wanted to do some research about the whole electric thing to begin with. So if y'all have some advice about that, please let me know below um, so that we can discuss and make a final decision very soon. Um, and if there's any other um, third row vehicle that you guys think I definitely, definitely, definitely need to go test drive, then also let me know that. Um, so yeah, the next video will be a continuation from this video. I love y'all. Bye.